Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Ella Fantasy Flipside. Ouch. <laughs> um, I was rereading some old clues, and I was supposed to find two faces across the sea. This is ledge on the sea, but it's the clue I got was like directly below here, so I don't think it's across the sea, but it said blast the tall one. So I just want to try blasting the tall one with a bomb. That did do something! Interesting! Okay. Uh, I did not think this would work. <gasps> it's a green herb! Holy crap! That's... that's a spicy meatball. Um, so I should be able to pick it. Neat. Um, what are the chances... Secret Grotto. What are the chances that I could blast this as well? I mean, I guess I'll try it since I'm carrying another bomb. I might as well pick up two since I've got a ring that lets me carry two things at a time. Okay, so I'm up to four green herbs. So it's definitely not the case that there were only six ever in the world. And so I'm definitely going to try to hoard them until I get up to six. The clue for this said something over here. It was like across the sea, something, something, something. Um, but it's not really across. It's really just above. Um, okay. That's a very nice start. And actually, the next thing I can do is, oops, call the bird. Because the next place we're going, I did find a couple places that I have left gems behind. And one of them is right over here. Um, actually, I might have already passed it. There's a raft somewhere here. That I just never picked up the gem, because I guess I was never here with blue herbs. But now that I have blue herbs, boing, here's a gem. Great. So that is one of the gems that I want. And then, oh, somehow I missed the bird there. And then the other one, oh, it's because I'm jumping too high because I have my uh, jumpy ability. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I don't need to call the bird. The other place is somewhere else that I'll probably need the blue herbs. Uh, and it's somewhere that we've seen, well, I've seen it a lot because sometimes I pass through here off camera. Uh, but I know we've seen it on camera a few times as well. But basically there's some tough jumpy bits when you jump here yeah so how would i get up to that first of all can i stand here i can so i guess let's use a blue herb and it looks like if i go left one and or no up one and right two i can get onto one of those moving platforms maybe or should i try to jump all the way across to the stationary ones I'm not sure what the right move is. Let's try the stationary ones. Okay, that worked. And then from here, I could just jump to here. I'm starting... Oh, I missed. All right, let's try it again. I'm starting to learn how to do those reading the isometric geometry <laughs> using the shadows and things, but I'm still not good at it. As you can see there. But I want to collect as many gems as I can because if we can get up to 20 gems... Um, oh, I see where the shadow of that is. So from here, it's actually straight down left, but much higher. So I need to go here. Got it. And then this one is straight up left, I think. Hey, I did it. Okay. And if I jump up, it doesn't seem like there's anything higher up that I can get to. Okay, great. I want to get up to 20 gems ASAP because then I would be able to bribe... Carlisle as a lost soul to follow me out of the underworld, and then I'd be able to carry three items at once, and that would be super great. Um, okay, so good news is I checked off some things on my list. Now I need to figure out what I'm doing next. All right, so I want to re-explore over through the karst entrance. Booster, right. I don't think I had figured out yet, yeah, how to use the boosters when I was last here. So this is something that I've never explored. So if I shrink down, zing! I see low-hanging fruit. So there's a piece of ore there for me. Let's do that again. Boing! Zing! And then presumably I can just uh, pick up that ore. Great. And then it looked like I might be able to boost a second time. So let's actually try that. So if I do this and then land here, and then do it again. Can I go up another screen? I can. 
Uh, oh, except I fell. <laughs> okay. Um, I wonder where this is going to take me. So, boing. So I need to go to here. And boing. And I need to go to here. I uh, mm. Once again, hard to figure out exactly where my shadow is. So this one's in the center of the room. I thought the other one was in the center of the room, but apparently not. So I gotta watch my shadow. Let's actually just stand here and look. Oh, that one's at the very bottom of the room, I see. Okay, so I have to go all the way down to the bottom. Ready, go. I, oh. I clip through the world, I think is what just happened there. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. We'll, we'll give the game credit. Oh, you can hit your head too, okay. So I need to make sure I'm above wherever I'm about to land. Okay, so. I almost got that. Is there any way, I mean, I could use a blue herb as well, probably. Let me just go straight up again. So I see where it is. And I think I'm getting enough height to get there. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. So, uh, I fell off before I magnified. I was trying to get a running start. So, all right, if this takes too many tries, I'll do a bit of editing here. Okay, I managed to land on this one. Oh, the title of the room is hard to judge. I only just noticed that, that's funny. All right, so if I just jump straight up, let's see what's... Oh, it's another gem! That's exactly what I'm looking for. And where's the gem located? Is it the very top of the room? I believe it is. Okay. So. Three, two, one. Boing! I misjudged it. <laughs> it's hard to judge. Hey, I got the gem that time. Okay, I'm up to 17 gems. Great. I think that was everything that's up there. Okay, so that's one thing that I wanted to re-explore, so I can cross that off my list. Okay, so I think I've explored everything I want to in the cavern that has the entrance at the Karst Keyhole. So where else could I go? And also, I want to keep an eye out for bars like this, because those are places that I now know the magic wand can shoot through. And so if I see bars with objects on the other side of them, that should clue me in that it might be a magic wand spot, and I haven't used the magic wand for very much yet. And so there may be more opportunities than I have spied. Also, I realize that there's ore that I could maybe get. Actually, could I just get this now if I use my uh, jumpy herbs? Can I just jump right to here and then jump up here? I totally can. Okay, so that's another ore. Gotten. Great. Um, I have extra ore so I could upgrade another tool. And so I should think about if there's things that I think I would benefit from upgrading. The magnifying glass apparently would help us see where there's adjacent rooms that we could get to or something uh, on the map, which could be valuable. And... Oh wow, on the bottom of the map, you can see as I go up, up, up on the height, that's where we just climbed the bouncy, hard-to-judge ledges or whatever in order to get those things. That's cool. Three more gems. I could, in theory, use a duplication herb to duplicate three gems by having a thief steal three gems from me, but I definitely don't want to do that because I want to save up my duplication herbs so that I could eventually grow them. Um, so is there anywhere else? I still haven't figured out what to do with you. What if I hit you with a magic wand and make you levitate? Okay, that's what I'm going to try next. So we're going to grab the magic wand... And we're going to grab an extra blue herb, since it's almost on the way. But then out here, this crazy guy... Uh, that's the wrong way. This crazy guy... What happens if I hit you with a magic wand? Uh, doesn't hit you? Hmm. Can I hit you from here? There we go! I need the magnifying glass in order to try to get in the pot. Can I get under you? Yes. And so if I had the magnifying glass, I think I could shrink it down and go inside that pot. But I forgot about that, so I need to go grab the magnifying glass. I'll be right back. 
Also, as an aside, shame on me for not having this guy in my notes, because I've talked about him a lot. Okay, so if I stand here... Oh, I hit both of you. I need to just hit the top guy, so maybe I need to jump a tiny bit. There we go. And so then if I stand here and I use the magnifying glass... Oh, that was weird. What if I shrink first? There we go. I fell inside the pot. And what happens? Oh my gosh, there's a thief coming after me. Uh, get away. Uh, Outlast. I'm in... Uh, this is like a super scary world. Um, I don't see any exits. There are various bandits trying to kill me. Or something. It's called Outlast. Which makes me think that maybe I should be trying to just endure for a certain amount of time. Oh, something just happened over here. Uh, ouch. Hey. Oh, and I got sent back. The guy walking the bottom, I understand. The guy walking around in the bottom is going to eventually hit pressure plates, which enable me to get stuff. Okay, so if I hit you with the magic wand from here somehow, there we go. Then use the magnifying glass to get small. Then hop down inside the pot. <laughs> he killed me, but I also hopped inside the pot. That's fine. Oh, this is already open. So I get the ore. So is there anything else I can do? Like on the bottom level, is there any way for me to get there? Is it ever going to open up? Am I just trying not to lose any other stuff before the timer expires? How would I get back out of here that doesn't involve like death? Or do I just want to die at this point? I can't see everything that's going on in the underneath part where the um, guy walking with the blue boots is. So let's just wait for him, ideally, to walk all the way around and not take a death. Oh gosh, uh, I took a death and I lost a gem, so I have to go back in there. He walked all the way around, I think. So I think I might be done in there, and so it's just for the piece of ore, which is fine. Uh, I'd like more, but... Um, it's another mystery solved. So I want to get my gem back, definitely. And it should be sitting on the ground in here. And then... I do think the guy in the bottom has walked an entire cycle. Yes, I do think the guy in the bottom has walked an entire cycle. In which case, the correct thing for me to do is die to a bomb without getting hit by this guy who steals my stuff. And I still have 17 and 7, which I think is the correct numbers. So I think I got everything I need out of there. Um, great. I got another piece of ore. So if I did want to upgrade another piece of equipment, which I could totally do right now, the bubble supposedly would give me more underwater mobility. Um, in the overworld, manipulating some of those little round ball things... Uh, had benefits, and so I wonder if there's there's a bunch of those balls over here. I wonder if I should try to manipulate any of them where I'm at here. But as I was saying, in the manual, the magnifying glass apparently would cause... And yeah, 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 I knew how to get through him near gate, kind of. The magnifying glass would cause the map to show adjacent screens that I could get to or something. Um, the bubble would give me extra mobility underwater and it's unclear to me like uh, where or how that would be useful. The magic wand, rather than things levitating for only a few seconds, uh, they would levitate until I had them stop, which also doesn't seem particularly useful just yet. Unless I needed to levitate like two things at once maybe. Maybe I could do that then. Um, I've already upgraded the boots. I've already upgraded the herb bag. Here is a place where I can use the magic wand through the bars. And so that gives me a step up. And then I could levitate this. And is there a reason to do any of that? I don't think there is. I don't know that I've stood on top of... Where is this? Oh, it's back over here. I thought this was floating in midair, um, but actually it's just farther back from the front. Um, hmm. And then there's still a mystery here because the translation over here said that there was the sound of mumbling behind this statue. 
And I have not been to the location behind the statue. And I have tried bombing in here, and I've tried using the magic wand. What I haven't done is grab the ore that's like totally available to me right here. If I can do some clever jumping, maybe. Um, I think I need jumpy herbs to do it, though. What if I stand on your head? Uh, this gets me pretty high, but I think not high enough to get the ore. Okay, so there's another piece of ore there if I want it. Actually, something we haven't done in a while is talk to Death and talk to Ludo. So let's talk. Ah, you returned. That last soul you sent back has been dealt with. As you may have seen, you can now carry two items at once. You can use that extra item to reach new areas, I'd expect. And I'm sure you could find some new paths on the surface as well. Ah, how I wish I could see the surface once again. And that's all you have to say. All right, that's fine. What about Ludo? I haven't talked to Ludo in a while. So let's go up to the surface. Sometimes Ludo's inside here and sometimes he's outside here. That's fine, you're allowed to move around. Hello again, Belle. Would you like to hear a story? I would like nothing more. Did you know that this land is sometimes called the gateway to the underworld? It is said that when death comes to this world to collect souls, they travel to this island. This is the last place that souls see before they pass on to the afterlife, or so they say. Is that why you came here? To see this place for yourself? I wonder, oh ho ho ho. All right. And that's all you have to say right now. Interesting. All right. Um, I'm kind of tempted to upgrade the magnifying glass and see if it will help me figure some stuff out. So... Yeah, maybe I will do that. Well, trying to make my way back to the smithy, I've come through the castle. There's still a gem there that I can witness, but I don't know how to get to. I think it involves using the magnifying glass, actually, coming through the sewers somewhere, perhaps, in order to get there. But there's also a time stop herb here. Oh, is this a hole? No, I've discovered this before. I thought this is a hole I could fall down, but it's actually just uh, a weird bit of the land. Is there any, like, pressure plates or something that are not obvious on this screen that do anything for me? I don't think so. Pattern practice. Pattern practice. In the underworld, you may recall that there was a screen that we jumped across and there were invisible platforms, and I believe it was also called pattern practice. And I think this is the shape of the invisible platforms in that room. And that only occurred to me now, and I just happened to get lucky and discover uh, the invisible platforms <laughs> on my own due to dumb luck. So that's interesting and noteworthy. Um, I thought from here I could get to uh, the frog guy somehow, but I don't remember how. Oh, I think I have to go through the front door over here. All right, so there's still a gem down there at the front of the castle. I need to make sure that's in my notes. Okay, but if I jump up through the lift courtyard, yeah, this is not the way to the frog. Right, I forgot about the fact that there was a Polnareff warp spot there. So I could have used that rather than my herb bag to get here more quickly. But I'm pretty sure this one leads to our froggy friend shortly. Yeah, here he is. Okay, and it needs to be in my E-slot. So if I put the magnifying glass in my E-slot, then I can talk to you. If you give me five ore, I'll improve the item in your E-slot. How about it? Do you want me to upgrade an item for you? Yes. Great, here we go. Da -la -la -la. Okay, I gave him five ore, and now my magnifying glass has been upgraded. So if I look at the map, Is it that grayed out black spot, for example, that suggests that there's a room in the uh, wall behind me over here? Oh, there's two of them. It shows like all eight spaces around me and where there might be rooms, I think is what I'm seeing. Okay, that's actually quite interesting to me. And also, since I have my jumpy herbs, is there any chance that I can stand on your head and jump over there? Actually, your head is not very stand honorable. Uh, I could stand on this. I'm not sure that my jumpy herbs will get there, but let's try. 
Uh, that's the wrong button. All right, can I get to the jumpy herbs? Or can I get to the jumpy herbs? Can I get to the ore? Not from there. Can I jump all the way from here? Hiya! Uh, I hit the wall. Hiya! Uh, I might be able to do it. Let me give myself a few tries. All right, I think I'm still not cool enough to actually pick up that piece of ore. So let me make a note that there's some ore in the smithy's place. Okay, but now I should start exploring the edge of the map and note places that it seems like there's more screens to get to based on the magnifying glass. So how much edge of map traversal can I do? I guess this will bring me back out toward the edge. Oh, and there's a gem in here that I don't have in my notes. Gosh darn it, so many gems. So... I could use the wand to levitate you for a few seconds and maybe you would turn around and walk over there. So maybe the wand in here. All right, still not exactly sure how that would work, but I have it added to my notepad. And it only shows the nearby rooms when I'm actually standing there. That's interesting because those black rooms that were off the edge of the map a little bit above and to the right of me are now no longer visible there. So at this point, I think I am kind of done in this area. And so where are some interesting places at the edge of the map that I would like to use my upgraded magnifying glass to witness? So if I return to the interior of the castle with the wand, can I try that one spot that I wanted over here? Can I use the wand on the sky through the bars? Uh, wrong button. Like right now. And then he's floating, and then I can turn him off floating, and then he hits the thing. Yeah! Okay, cool! It totally works. Okay, so when you see bars and objects across the bars, that's a place to use the magic wand. Great, cross that one off the list. And then this darn gem. I have the bubble, I have the magnifying glass. I wonder if it's possible for me to get in there somehow. There's a gem here in Dream Game. I'm unclear what I would be doing in this room. But I need to make a note of that gem, I suppose. Okay, I've gone back down into the anthill in the underworld, and the magnifying glass tells me that through this wall, there is another room. Don't know that I can get there from here. So maybe... Hmm... Yeah, and I can see it from this side as well, but it doesn't look like there's a way to get through this room there either. How would I get there? I'm not sure. Okay, so this is interesting. From here, there's a room to the west of me that I wonder how I get to. I'm not sure that I've ever tried to have this guy's bomb to, like, explode the wall over here, so let's... Just make sure his bombs are near that front wall. So throw one right here, please. That's not going to quite do it. Yeah, stealing my gems. All right, you can steal a gem. Just make sure I get a bomb there. Ah, oh, I just walked off the screen, and I didn't get a bomb there. All right, here's where I want the bomb. That's a good place for the bomb, actually. And it did not explode the wall. So I don't think I get there through there. So how else could I go two screens to the left of me? Possibly back from outside here. So remind me what this looks like. It would be at the back of this. Oops. I haven't been through this place in a while. It's a tiny gauntlet. It's actually pretty easy to get through. Just jump, jump. And then run, 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 run. There's invincibility herbs here. And so it's back through this wall, I think. Yeah, there's there's all kinds of things all around me here. So maybe I should bring some bombs here and see if any of these walls are bombable. That seems plausible. So to do that, I would need, I guess, just the ring. And I could carry the bombs up here. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm, this guy could try bombing the wall for me, actually. You want to bomb any of these walls? 
<gasps> it does. There's a way to go through here. Okay, this is a new spot on the map. Cool. Okay, so the magnifying glass power-up is already proving useful. And it's telling me that I want to bring... I guess an herb bag here so that I could be invincible, stand on top of them, and then use a jumpy herb to jump up higher. And then also there is still room to the left of me. So maybe I'd want to carry another bomb in or something. Or maybe I get to that room to the left of me some other way. Okay, and does this say, per oops, does this stay permanently unlocked at this point? It looks like it does. Okay, so let me come back here with those items. Okay, so I'm gonna carry two bombs. This is not the right way to go, or is this the right way to go? I've already lost track. Um, this is not the right way to go. I'm in the wrong spot. Right, I wanna be over here. Here we go, jump, jump. Run, 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 run. There's the secret entrance that I just found. So I come through here. And now I want to try bombing this wall. That also turns those guys around. That's interesting. Um, didn't seem like that was doing anything useful for me. Just in case I need one over in the corner, we'll try one more since I'm carrying them. Um, uh oh. Well, that's fine. I can just walk out of the room and then come back in, and they'll be back in their cycle. So then I want to become invincible, and I want to have a high jump, and then I can jump on your head, and jump up here. Oops, let's do that better. Jump on your head, and then jump up here. I thought that would do it. Oh, it does. Okay, so there's another piece of ore for me. Great. I succeeded at defeating the bouncers. It does seem like there's a ceiling in here, so there isn't anywhere higher up that I can go. So we managed to find that square in the map, but apparently there is a square to the left of me, and so I wonder if I could approach from the north going to the south. So I'm going to try to locate that next. Okay, well, here's the screen to the north of it. And this does not look extremely probable in terms of candidates to move to the south here. So then the other possibility is coming from west to east. <gasps> this is where I need to be. So, broken bridge. I have never been to the right, and I could totally get there just by spending an invincibility herb. So let's spend an invincibility herb and see what's over this way. And I immediately, okay, there's a key there. <gasps> Burning sky, okay. Uh, I need to spend two more invincibility herbs, that's fine. So I'll spend one here, jump, spend another one here. I'm invincible, I get the key, great. Okay, and then I guess I'll spend another one on the next screen so that I can go over this way because I've also never been to the south here for some reason. Into the fire. All right, so there's more to explore here, basically. Oh, this is the backside of the Himnir Gate that I haven't been able to open up yet. Okay, cool. And then finally, what happens if I spend my final invincibility herb in order to look over this way? <gasps> there's an invincibility herb. <laughs> okay, but only one of them. So if I came back here with a full stack, yeah, I might be able to explore more over there. So let me fill up my herbs and I'll be back. Okay, the herbs have been refilled at the herb garden. So now I can use our bird friend to warp us back over to that place, whose name I can't remember right now. Drafty Hollow, is this the one? Uh, this is not the right spot. So we need to warp one more spot. Melted Rock, that's the one. Okay, so from here, uh, there's a piece of ore here that it looks like I get from a different side. And then I came down here, and then I need, oh boy, then I need to use some invincibility herbs. So I need one on this screen, and one on this screen, and then I can pick another one. And I'm still invincible here, and then I'm going to be prepared to use one on the next screen. 
Great. River of Pain. Looking at the map. Going north sounds great. So let's jump Invincible. River of Death. Here's another Invincibility Herb. Thank you. I don't think I can jump up there. This looks like if I had the dashy boots, I would be able to run and bounce back and forth in between here, I think, in order to climb that. And that might bring me around to that uh, ore that I just saw a moment ago. So let's jump events. Damned. So there's some type of lava dam here. This is all new places. And then I can just walk onto the screen. <gasps> Look at that! That's great! Become invincible. Grab three more herbs and a piece of ore. Boiling. And then from here... That might be everywhere I needed to go in this region. That seems pretty good. I guess I can refill my herbs while I'm here just by um, becoming invincible once again and then picking these guys. And I mean, I guess I might as well. Like, I'm pretty sure I cannot just use jumpy herbs. Oops, I forgot to do that. That's fine. Oh, where's it going to reset me to, though? Oh, it reset me to here. That's actually quite kind. Okay, great. So I need to jump invincible, then switch to jumpy herbs. Ooh, careful. Jumpy herbs. Use my jumpy herbs. Now I'm jumpy. Yeah, I totally can't jump that. Oh, wait, I got a... Did you see that? How did I do that? It's like I bounced off the corner or something. I'm not sure what I did there, but this does bring me to this ore. So I'm up to five ore again. I could upgrade something else. At this point, what's left to upgrade? I think I did everything I need to do in this portion of the map. So I'm ready to teleport back. But we have a lot of ore. And so, yeah, what remains to upgrade? I've upgraded everything in here. The warp whistle, I don't believe, is upgradable. The wand could be upgraded. The book could be upgraded. The book upgrade seems the least valuable because it just, I think, gives you the vowels and the consonants have been enough. So I guess the wand would be the next thing I would upgrade. And I'm curious if it allows you to levitate two objects at once because that might unlock some things for me. And so if I had the wand and the ring... I think I could get back to the smithy. There's a few different ways to get back to the smithy, and I always forget what combination of items I need. Thinking it over right now, though, I think it makes sense not to upgrade anything in order to preserve optionality, just in case I want to duplicate my ore at some point, uh, using a duplication herb at some point in the future, um, just in case ore ends up being scarce. So I think what I'm going to do is hold on to that, and yeah, I think with that, we've actually made a lot of progress this episode. So I'm going to say, I hope as always that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon for more Elephant Sea Flipside. For now, bye bye.